things you like about tonight? I mean, you got the great start yeah. from Sebastian. Riley was really strong there, and, and Luke, you know, at the plate, three home runs. Yeah, lot, lot to like. Yeah. Um, we knock out a really good starter uh, in four innings or so. Um, we get into their bullpen, and, and we seem to be very competitive offensively. Uh, we did. We get another quality start from Seabass, um, and it's fun to play behind him offensively and defensively because you know he just feels like he's going to give you a chance. And um, but yeah, we, we we learn a lot too. You know, we learn life in the ACC and didn't finish the way we wanted um, those last few innings. We kind of had a defensive uh, hiccup there, um, and then the free bases, just the walks and the HBPs will hurt you. So. Uh, love to win, uh, but if you can learn in those wins, because I've always said sometimes you learn more in the losses. I, that was a real eye opener. That teams just don't quit in the ACC, man. You, you got to get to the finish line, so you got to play a complete game. It's obviously just one game in the ACC play, but you've got to be pleased with what you saw out of Napleton facing ACC quality pitching. No doubt. I mean, we felt like just give them a chance to adjust to Division One baseball, but really not that it was that far off from uh, from Division two I mean college baseball junior college is just it's good at all levels and uh, but I think the first month probably prepared him you know and seeing some good arms and power arms and um, you know I like the success he had tonight I think it was off of three different pitchers if, if we're saying he had three home runs I mean so and they were all different they're good I mean if they were throwing Friday in the ACC, they're darn good. So good night for him. And again, it, I think it just shows our depth offensively and um, even at the catching position, you know, where we kind of rotate guys and, and those guys seem, seem to always be hitting in the middle of the lineup. Riley faces that tough situation. Bases gets full, no outs. Roger comes out and hits some magic words. It sounds like his, you know, pop up and two straight strikeouts to get out of there. Uh, love, love the inning. Um, had some adversity and and was able to pitch out of it. We talk about that. And as an older pitcher, talented pitcher, he's pitched a lot here. Um, doesn't surprise me. I would have liked to have seen him get to the finish line. Uh, and I think what he can learn from that, uh, it's a super emotional eighth inning. And, and emotion's part of it, and especially in college baseball. But, you know, even we said out there, like, don't get too high and don't get too low. And looking back, he probably got a little too high. and. You just you burn a lot of energy, and and um, so he'll learn from that. And um, but again, hopefully, all the other young pitchers can can learn from from the good and the bad. Able to set the table tonight for the weekend. Can you talk a little bit about you know what this does for your group as you you know go into the next couple of days, kind of getting on a high and feeling like they got off to a good start, you know, to ACC play. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if it you know. I mean, if you lose tonight, you know, this team has to be mature. You just got to turn the page. We got 30 of these battles, if you call them that. This was a battle tonight. This is life in the ACC. And um, so definitely don't get too comfortable. Don't get too high. They're running out another good starter tomorrow. Uh, you saw the offense. They got a chance to put up runs at any point. So uh, just turn the page and, and let's come out and, you know, be, be ready to play good baseball tomorrow. Obviously, defense has been kind of up and down so far this season, but how about that play from McCoy late in the game with that diving catch? It's great. He, he, he's, he's made a couple. He's come close to a couple. Um, he has the makings to be a really, really good defensive first baseman. So when he went through a little funky stretch there, it's, it's a head scratcher because he's skilled, he's, he's athletic, strong, um, and, and we need him to, to have a great defense you got to have a great first baseman so uh that was nice to see and and again you gotta you gotta pitch play defense and and and, and compete in the batter's box so we, we did pretty good there yeah, all right, all right. thanks, thanks.